All right, guys. Well, today we're going to start working with a new program called Illustrator. As you take a look, um, this is what Illustrator looks like. Looks pretty similar to Photoshop. A lot of some similar tools, but also a lot of new tools that we haven't used, and a, a lot of ways that tools work a little bit differently than they did in Photoshop. So the first thing you can see, I already have my my blank background up, but just so you can kind of get an idea of how we want to go about doing that. To open up a new one, we're going to go up to File and hit New. When we do that, we have the option to go ahead and put a name in. We can always change it later. The great thing about Illustrator is it gives you some profiles that you can use. We'll probably want to start off for the most part using Print. But just so that you can see, we also um, Illustrator can be used to create uh, mock-ups for the web. So if you were doing web design or you were creating a web page, you could use this as a mock-up to uh, show what that would actually look like. Maybe you're designing an app. You can click on devices, and this is pretty cool. They have presets as far as different um, devices, uh, iPads, iPhones, uh, Android phones, Amazon phones, different things that you could use them as well. Um, you also could do it as a video and film or just basic RGB, but we're going to keep it at print. Um, it sets it as letter as our default, and we've got our orientation up and down or side to side, so our vertical or horizontal. So uh, go ahead and just leave it at that, hit OK. You'll see then it's going to create this new page for us, so either this way or this way. Uh, this is vertical, this is horizontal. I'm going to start with this one, the horizontal one, just to be able to show a few things. Over on the side, this is our panels. Uh, the panels are going to be where we do a lot of our work out of. The panels is going to be where we do a lot of our work out of. So we've got color, we've got color guide, we've got color themes, swatches, brushes, symbols, stroke, Gradient, transparency, let's skip that one, appearance, and graphic styles. And then these are some important ones down here, which are our layers and then our artboards. This white uh, rectangle is an artboard, and so we're going to do all of our work within an artboard. Okay? All right, the first thing that we want to look at today then is how to use the pencil tool. The pencil tool is right over here. It's, it looks just like a pencil. And if I can get to it, show up. I don't know why it's not telling me the name, but that is, trust me, that is the pencil tool. Now you'll notice a couple of things. Uh, this should actually be one. The default is that the, what we have here is uh, this white box is called the fill. And then this one that's kind of outlined is called the stroke. Now, the difference between these, the fill is going to be what color uh, your shape or your object is going to be. It's going to be what color it fills it in with. Your stroke is what color either the outline of the shape or what color you're going to write in if you're using your pencil. Um, it's how you make that color. Okay, So there are two different uh, kind of things we've got. Stroke, which is the outline or the, the color of the pencil, and the fill, which will be the color of the inside. You'll notice on here, um, as opposed to like Photoshop where you have your paint bucket and you fill colors in with your paint bucket, on here you'll see that we don't have a paint bucket. You do it by choosing your fill. You have the same options up top, um, and this is our menu uh, bar as well up here. So we have the same options where we can choose our, our fill color, we can choose our stroke color. Right? We also can choose how thick our stroke is, so four points. Right? And we've got some other options up here as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the pencil. One other cool thing that you can do with the pencil, if you double click on it, you get some options. Yours will probably be starting right here in the middle. One of the cool things with pencil, since we're going to mostly be using our trackpads, although we may, um, you may find that you want to use a the tablet and the pen 
um, you could do that as well. But if you're using your trackpad, you may find that uh, dragging this over to smooth is going to be uh, really helpful for you. Okay? Um, that's just going to make it so that it smooths out your curves as you're drawing lines. And it's going to make it, it's going to kind of change it from maybe some jaggedy edges and uh, curves into just more smooth lines automatically. The other thing that you may want to choose is this closed pass when ends are within. That way, if you are trying to draw out an actual shape, you once you get back to within, and when we click on it, you'll see 15 pixels, you'll see that that uh, goes ahead and it closes the shape for you. So let's go ahead and just check out what this does. I want to, uh, black's good. So I'm going to just draw kind of a, a squiggly line, and you see how smooth it made my line, um, even though I didn't necessarily have it I didn't draw it very well. All right, so now if I was to draw kind of a, I don't know, some just random shape here. Right, again, it, you see it smooths it all out. And I didn't really even have to get that close to it to make it close in my shape. Okay, If I want, I can, once I've drawn it, I can actually change what the inside of that color is. I can come over, I can click one that's already made here, or I could just come down here and I could come through with my color and pick a different color, maybe something like that looks good. Okay. So that is the pencil tool. We also looked at the gradient, I'm sorry, not the gradient, we also looked at the fill color and the stroke color. We could come back here, we could change the size of our stroke, which makes it that line thicker or thinner, okay. So that's the first kind of tool that you can do and it makes it really easy to just be able to draw out shapes and draw certain things. So if you are a little bit better to able to draw some freehand shapes, it's kind of a great tool, a great way to do that.